What are we doing, Dakota? Breaking loose the bolts that hold the upper front uh, motor mounts. So you've got rubber pucks here, then you've got these three that hold the mount to the engine. So yeah. I'm getting rid of those guys. How many are you leaving on? Two. Yeah, that's good enough. Leaving the other Just two. Just get us where we need to. You get that torque reaction plate out yet? Almost. Hurry up. See, <laughs> everyone here, Robert is the slowest one. Because he keeps doing that. Ah. Everything he's told you is lies. He's not really a mechanic. I'm an accountant. He's an accountant. For Starbucks. For st you had to you had to pick Starbucks. You had to pick Starbucks, you're welcome. Congratulations. I'm now a Dunkin' Donuts man. Uh, you are you are something. Is it engine ground bolt? Are you done yet? Almost. Are you done yet? Almost. Are we there yet? More on this side. I'm glad I get paid by the hour. It's good enough for government work. Good enough for government. Fit okay. Fit okay. Oh, there's a story behind Fit okay that's pretty hilarious. We were taking apart a 68E type and it said on the front timing case it had in chalk pencil Fit okay. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Then on the back of the, like, the firewall behind the engine was another one that said Fit okay. So apparently their exacting standards were, eh, you know. Mm -hmm. that, that was more that was getting towards the British Leyland years yeah which we don't like to talk about that yeah those are the dark years that's where Jaguar really messed up that's why people don't like Jaguar yeah, they don't like them so I get into that uh, series 3 the XJS's so if anybody from British Leyland is watching we don't like you I don't know if they exist in an entity anymore good no I don't think they do Dakota good there's a reason yeah there is a reason they rioted <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, they rioted. <laughs> they had work labor union strikes and stuff. As a uh, example of that, a buddy of mine was taking apart a Series 3 E-Type and up inside the dash, uh, the customer had been complaining of a rattle for years. The guy owned the car. And what he was had it, a one, gun? Huh? What was in it? He found when he was taking it apart a little glass jar inside the dash with a ball bearing in it. So every time you turn left or right, you hear, tink, tink. <laughs> And inside it, it had a little piece of tape that said, Congratulations, you found the rattle. <laughs> that is some disgruntled employees right there. That's hateful. That's uh, hateful. How's this coming? We are on the last bolt. Man, then I just got to use a hammer and hit this plate back. And then when are we taking the engine out? Then it goes straight down. And it won't fall down on you? No. Nah. We gotta drop it down. Oh, wish. And then we pick the. Uh, then oh, we, you pick the mounts yeah, up. Yeah, then we pick the whole car up and leave the engine on the floor. Have up. Time. Can you hear me, that Dakota? Yeah. On this episode of Speed Restoration. Yeah. Robert dies. On Speedwell. Oh, oh good. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Speedwell. Speed restoration. You thought about that? Yeah. Don't give me too much credit. Don't blame me for thinking. Slow yeah. clap. All my stuff's done. So. All right, can you bring me that brass drift? Oh, you need something. Yes. Yeah. It's like I work here. Weird. Weird. Where'd you put it? Uh, top right. Unless it's on no, the stage. Not where it goes. Gotcha. All right, guys, we'll be back. Stay tight, all right? Stay tuned, stay tight. We're here. Oh, that was you need to be concussion. here, too. We're on Speedwell.